This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Uh, we'll be starting our next topic uh, that is uh, material types. Okay, so basically we will see uh, material master basically. Okay. So the the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see how to customize new material types, material number range assignment. Okay, then material status, and then field selection control. These are the topics we will be covering in the in the material type customizing. Okay, so basically, uh, we this we discussed already. Using a material type is a way of grouping materials that have the same basic properties, such as raw materials, semi-finished products, or finished products. So normally, uh, whenever you create a material, you need to assign a material type to the material. Okay, so this material type, if you see here, if when, when, when I log into the system, okay, so when we are creating a material, uh, we select the industry sector and after that, we select the material type. So this material type. Uh, will control a lot of functions. Basically, this material type will control everything in the material master. So that material type configuration we are discussing now. Okay. When you create a material master record, you have to assign the material to a material type. That's what I explained. So whenever you are creating a new material, you need to assign a material type. So we used raw materials in our classes. We used most of the time ROH, raw material. This is what we used. Okay, so the material type belongs to the general data of the material and controls important processes in individual application. So this material type will control a lot of uh, functions, okay, related to metal. Okay, so these are the ones. Okay, so like what is a procurement type? Okay, it will control internal or external. Internal means whether it is produced or external means whether it is purchased. All these are controlled by this material type and views for material maintenance. What are the views to be maintained? Okay, and a number assignment. Okay, and then type of inventory management, quantity update and value update, and some and fields assignment to an account category reference, field selection, okay, and screen sequence. This we will discuss later on. Okay, and it will contain it will control some other functions. So basically. Whenever we create a material, we will assign a material type and this material type will control all these functions. All these functions. We will discuss the most important ones. Okay. So now, first let me show you the material type configuration. So let me go to configuration. Go to SPRO. SAP reference IMG. Okay. Go to logistic general okay okay here you have material master the all the configuration related to material master is carried out over here open this okay here you have basic settings open this okay here material types open this here define attributes of material types this is the place where you do all the configuration so if you select this if you go inside you have here all the material types you see the one which we used most of the time roh if you click on position type your material type roh this is a standard scp material type continue so you have it here so now if you select this you need to go to details okay so this is the one basically okay so this is a material type code and its description okay now field reference i will come to this field reference later on we will discuss this field reference what is this field reference and why it is used okay now this explant material status suppose if you maintain a value here suppose let's say if you maintain a value here whenever you create a material okay i'll show you Suppose let me let me enter a value here.
Okay, suppose. Suppose if I enter BP here, blocker for purchasing, I enter, I en I enter the explained metal status, save it. First, I will show you where it is used. Then I will explain what is a metal status. Okay. So now whenever you create a material, if I try to create a material with that material type, ROH, enter. I'll select only basic data one and two. See, what do you see? In the basic data one, there is a field called explant metal status. Here now it is coming as BP. So if you assign that explant metal status in the configuration, whenever you create a material with that material type, system automatically will propose that explant metal status. Okay, what is this metal status? We will discuss later on in the, in the today's class itself. Okay, uh, so what is a metal status? How many metal status do we have? Everything we will discuss. Okay. Now, this is the re reference material type. So whenever you are creating a material type, new material type, you can give a reference. Okay, it is just to link. Now the next one is item category group. Item category group normally will be used by the SDT. Okay, this is not relevant for MM. Okay, they have the item category in the sales views. In the sales views, and you have to go to the fault material. Whenever you are creating a, uh, let's say, FERT material, FERT material will have the sales views, right? Here you see. So clear this one. And here. So here, this one item category group. Okay. So this item category group, if you want to have default, that you can maintain here. Okay, but it is maintained in some other place from there it is taken. This is for the SDP. Okay. Now the most important thing is this user departments. User departments. So which views has to appear when we are creating a uh, material with that material type. So that we will discuss. Okay. Which is nothing but maintenance status. Okay. So the maintenance status of a material is a key showing which user departments have been maintained for a material master record. You can use a material in logistics only if the material has certain maintenance statuses. Okay, I will explain this. So what happens is whenever you are creating a material, whenever you are creating a material, some views will appear. System will propose the views. From that views, you will select which views you want to maintain. But which views system has to propose? System has to propose that is controlled by this maintenance status maintenance status so if you see again if you go to the system suppose i'll go back if i go to mm01 if i select raw material again raw material again if i click on select views if you observe carefully is the sales views coming here no First of all, sales view system is not proposing. Here we don't have sales views because this is a raw material. Okay, see, there are no sales views here. Suppose if I select FERT, if I try to FERT, so if, I, if I try to create a material with FERT material type, finished product, if I click on select views, okay, you see here, you are getting sales views. Here you see, you are getting the sales views. So this, this controlled by this views controlled by material type that is through this maintenance status maintenance status so this is the one. if you see this you will ask you will understand so for the material type let's say 
if you assign the maintenance status let's say e e purchasing then it will propose these three views purchasing foreign trade and purchase order text okay if you assign the maintenance status k basic data then it will propose basic data one so these are called maintenance status 